Hello everyone and welcome to all computer classes. Today we are going to start the Python course and the first chapter of the Python that is introduction to Python. So, so you know that how uh, how computer works. So, computer works with a set of instructions. Okay. So, set of instruction is called program and to write this program we need to have programming language okay all the programs are written in some programming language like c c++ java and python so today we are going to study about python programming language okay so these are the topic that we are going to cover today first is what is python python's creator that who is the person behind the creation and brief history of python's development and features of python's popularity okay so let's start with it so what is python python is one of the most powerful and high level and object oriented programming language so it is a programming language which is most popular high level and object oriented so these are the two main features of this programming language okay. it is mainly developed to emphasize the code readability so what is code readability when you are writing a code uh, which is very easy to understand with proper indention and formatting and for that it uses english keywords very frequently because you people are very much well versed with the english language okay so it is a programming language which is high level and object oriented and main purpose was to create uh, it with a more readability okay so let's move ahead so who is the person behind the creation so gudo van rossum is the person who belongs to netherland has created this okay he was born on 31st january 1956 and he has received a master degree in mathematics and computer science from university of amsterdam in 1982 okay so you see he has got a degree in mathematics and computer science so mathematics is closely related to computer science so because computer science has a lot of calculations logics behind it so if you have logical and analytical brain it would be easy for you to become a developer a software engineer okay so if you want to know more about him you can visit this link and um, there would be many hyperlinks which you can follow and know more about his work okay so let's move ahead so let's talk about brief history the idea of python's development was conceived in late 1980 and implementation started in 1989 okay in 1991 its code was published and in 1994 its first version that is python 1.0 was released okay so you see it take lot of time to develop a software or a language right because it involves lot of research work day and night hard work okay so its development took place at uh, cwi that is centrum vascunde and informatica which is a national research institute for mathematics and computer science in netherlands okay so this was the brief history let's move ahead uh you know that python is one of the most popular language so let's know what all are the features that has made it so popular so first of all ease to learn okay so we know that popular uh, python is popular for its easiness okay it means it is user friendly means anyone and everyone can learn to code in couple of days as compared to other object oriented languages like c++ or java okay so uh, it's very easy for all of you because you are beginner so it uh, it's a good news that it's very easy language okay and uh, second point is interactive mode okay so python works in two modes one is script mode and second is interactive mode so interactive mode is a quick way of running a small block or a single line of python code and it is very handy because when you are running a code and you just want to see the output you can see then and there okay it is a interpreted language because compiler compiles the entire program and interpreter works line by line okay so in interactive mode you just see the output then and there so it it gives you immediate feedback of the statement okay so it is known for its 
simplicity of the code because it is a high level language and it is very simple and has a vast library means all the functionality that you want to work with strings or you want to with the internet it provides you every facility okay so high level language means which is very very close to human and which is very easy for human being to understand so this was a third feature that has made it popular next is portability portability means it can run on wide variety of hardware platform okay and have a same interface because for example if you are wo working if you are running uh, your program python program on windows and you want to shift it to some other uh, operating system uh, having linux or mac okay so you can easily do that without worrying about changing the code okay which is not that easy Uh, in when you are using or when you are working with other languages, okay. So it is one of the most portable language. Then next feature is free to use. So what is the meaning of free to use? So it means that the source code of the Python is open for everyone who want to use it, access it, modify it. Okay, and it is freely available on internet. You can just go there and download it and work on. and it can work on any operating system okay so the next point is this point uh, high level language is very very important what is high level language which is number 1 more user friendly number 2 it is independent of all the hardware and software on which you want to use it and third we need not to worry about coding structure and memory management so when uh, a language is developed based on this feature so these are the things that we get the next important feature is object oriented language so one of the key aspect of uh, python is that it is object or its object oriented approach means it recognizes the concept of classes and objects so um oops programming methodology it is basically based on the principle you can say like abstraction encapsulation inheritance polymorphism classes and object so when you will learn uh, in future when you will learn in detail then you will come to know that how this feature is very important okay so next is gui so gui means uh, graphical user environment okay so it supports GUI application that can be created and ported to many system. Okay, so Python provides us various option to develop a graphical user interfaces. So one of which is TK Inter, and it is a standard graphical user uh, interface library for Python. Okay, which provides us uh, the features like uh, to create button, to create menus, or uh, other user interfaces. Okay, so it has a library in it which uh, helps us to create this graphical environment. and uh, ninth point is its simplicity of the syntax it, the syntax is very very simple let's see the example this is a c++ program to just type these two words that is hello world okay so you see we have written almost eight to nine lines to just print these two words whereas if we want to write the same program in python you see see it's so simple one line code see the compare the simplicity of this syntax right so i hope this was useful information for all of you so just uh, revise the these things and uh, keep learning uh, tomorrow i'll bring you the applications of python and benefits of python okay so if you like the video just uh, subscribe the channel share it like it and press the bell icon okay so take care and uh, god bless you all